in there was part of it. I, I, I can't figure it out right now. Can you try? I am tired, confused, and I, I don't want to have this discussion. I never thought that... You're my mother. And mothers protect their children, I know that. But I never thought that you would ever stand up for me the way that you did. It has to mean something, right? Do you think maybe it's because it, you want to be my mother after all? Alka-Seltzer Plus Cold Medicine. Pills take time to dissolve, but Alka-Seltzer Plus is ready the moment you take it. To soothe your aches, relieve your runny nose, free your breathing. Nothing rushes relief like Alka-Seltzer Plus. When your nose is sore, does your tissue make it worse? Oh, it hurts. It's sore. It feels miserable. Every time I wipe my nose, it gets worse. That's why there's Pops Plus, the only tissue with moisturizing lotion with aloe. I can feel the lotion. So it's better at soothing sore noses it nice. because it's less irritating than dry tissues. This is a good feeling nose. We're both not going back to dry tissue. They're happy, I'm happy. I'm gonna buy Pops Plus. First aid for your sore nose through all the blows. Me and my nose got a good relationship now. <laughs> So at Jenny's school play, I get this cough. Somebody handed me these Robitussin cough drops. They worked right away, and I could feel those vapors. Robitussin took the spotlight off me and put it where it belonged. Robitussin cough drops. Cough drops from the cough experts. All my children will be back in a moment. Sunday. I'm exactly where I want to be. Their lives were picture perfect until a madman ripped it to shreds. I'll kill you before I let you go. Why are you doing this to us? You don't, you don't listen to me! How far will a man go? Let him have a rational heart-to-heart. -heart. To protect his family. I'll handle it legally. Let me handle it. It'll be faster and cheaper. John Ritter and Henry Winkler, as you've never seen them before. The world premiere movie, The Only Way Out, Sunday. T'was the week before Christmas. The kids were in bed and I had to buy presents or this dad was dead. Compton's encyclopedias expand their minds. McFrugal's had them 99.99. With neat illustrations for all to see, filled with thousands of articles from A to Z. I hurried in and bought them. They were selling out fast. And soon my kids will be the head of their class. So head to McFrugal's Bargains Closeouts and you can tell your kids Santa's in the house. McFrugal's Bargains Closeouts open 24 hours from December 17th through the 23rd. Make something warm and wonderful happen. Send holiday flowers from Huddard Floral, 230 East South Temple, or call 531-7900. Is there anything more important to family meals than meat? Better buy it at a store you can trust. You can shop at a thousand stores, but there's only one that's yours. The freshest meat, poultry, and seafood, plus honest low prices. Albertsons, it's your store. First night, Salt Lake City. For information, call 567-2173. You defended me. You didn't have to. There has to be something between us, some kind of bond. Maybe so that we can work on, build with. I don't think so. Well, you're not sure. Once you have time to think about it, you'll see. I didn't defend you. I was defending myself. But Dimitri would never hurt you. I didn't see Dimitri. I saw... You saw my father. Yes, I did. I wish that he were dead. I wish I had stabbed him. I wish that that monster were finally killed. Have you spoken with the police yet? No, why should I? Well, they're here. In the hospital. Nobody told you, did they? They want to arrest you. No. 
They're just waiting for some kind of official order or something. Well, they can't arrest me. I haven't done anything wrong. This could possibly be. Anyway, what about Bianca? Who would take care of her? I guess Travis would. Over my dead body. Where's Jack? I don't know. Well, where did he go? What? Mm. Erica, wait! There's... Uh, excuse me, where are you going? Listen, just go back into your room and we won't have a problem here. Don't order me around. If you don't go voluntarily, I'll be forced to subdue you. You're not going anywhere. Let go of me! Let go of me! What are you... Are you out of your mind? This is a hospital! Yes, I know. Look, I had to stab him. And my daughter Bianca, I am worried about my daughter Bianca. I have got to go and talk. Jack, Jack! Here, here, here. What is this woman doing? Please, 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 please. She is holding me a prisoner in my own room. She will not let me out. Okay. What is going okay. on here? Come on. called assaulting an officer. You saw her? You know, I could arrest her for it right now. I don't think you want to do that. And why not? I mean, just because the woman makes the perfect shade of shimmering persimmon lipstick, you know, doesn't make her above the law. Well, let's see. Let's use our pretty little head and try to figure it out. Struggling with a distraught woman in a hospital. Hmm. I don't think the charges will stick. Well, she'll get hers in the end. Ah, uh -uh. don't you go anywhere. I see Dimitri. Well, we'll have time to do that after we straighten things out here. Why don't you come inside? Suspect tried to flee. Quote, I had to stab him. End quote. Uh, last time you and I spoke, my name was Gresham. I think I was in confession because I wanted Dimitri to have an accident on his two-wheeler. Things have changed. Look, I know I'm not real high on your list of long-distance phone calls. You're not even in the list. Okay. I guess when my life started out so rotten, I blamed you, you know, and then I... And I forgot about you, and, and I just gave up. So what am I doing here? Well, I suppose I could come to thank you for all the good things that have happened in my life. My success, Maria, my actual semi-functional family. But of course, I, I want something. It's my brother, you see. He's, um, <clears throat> he's... He's in trouble. I still don't get why it happened. It doesn't make any sense, but he's suffering a lot, and there's no reason for it. He's a good man. He shouldn't have to suffer. I love him. Like a brother. <laughs> okay, well, it took a while, all right? But good things do, don't they? Like, you didn't mistake all that fighting and all we had for the real thing. I mean, I know you know that I care and that he cares. And... I can't lose him. I mean, who am I going to have to yell at? Who's going to tell me what a jerk I am? So, um... So please, God, would you help him? How can I help? How can you turn on me like this? After all the favors I've done for you. Oh, you call
call what you've done today a favor. Well, you can't blame a man for being a little curious. Besides, I'm not billing you for the jet. Oh. Just because you let me borrow your plane and made one phone call, one phone call to the Mounties doesn't give you free reign over my personal life. I thought we learned that, both learned that, the hard way last year. You're not mentioning one big favor. Oh, yes, of course, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for taking care of our son. No, no, uh, make that two favors. What else have you done besides insult me and Tad? I defended you to Brooke, that's what I did. To Brooke? Why would you have to do that? I, uh, I'm not completely without uh, compassion. You said that you didn't tell her. Well, I, I had to fudge that a little bit. Uh... You, 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 she knows about us? You told her? No, no, I didn't have to tell her. She uh, already knew the whole sordid story. Brooke does know uh, about our affair? Chapter and verse. And as you could probably guess, you're not her favorite person at the moment. In fact, the last time I saw her, she was livid. You were the evil homewrecker, and she couldn't wait to get her hands around Tad's throat. How did she find out? Well, I would venture a guess that you left a few too many clues in your haste to rendezvous with your lover. But I did defend you to her. You might appreciate that. Thank you so much, Adam. Why didn't you tell Tad that Brooke knows? Because after what he did to her, I think she is entitled to the element of surprise. So she can get in the first shot, so to speak. How sporting of you. I'm calling Tad. No, no, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What are you going to say if Brooke answers the phone? You just think you know everything, don't you? Well, I know that Ted created this buzz saw, and he deserves to walk right straight into it. I'm home. Hey, Ma. Who's your new friend? Very funny. Needs to be a little to the left, don't you think? No, oh, I'll do it later. If you let me unpack, I'll, uh, I'll help you. Oh, so you're gonna be here? Of course I'd be here. Where the hell else would I be? Look who's home! Hey! Hey, are you? I'm gonna eat you up! Mm. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Because you know I missed you in a big way. He has oh, been you. talking about you nonstop oh, since you. breakfast. Something you. about a list? Well, you know, it seems like there's nobody around here that he could help him make out his top ten wants for old Saint Nick except his daddy. Yeah, well, you just keep your pencil sharp, sport, because I tell you what, you and I are going to put together the biggest, fiercest list that Santa's ever seen and give him plenty of time to set his elves to work on whatever your little heart wants. That's a promise. You can count on it. Well, do you think that we could uh, wait to do that until after nap time? Sure. <laughs> okay, come on, Jamie. Bye. I love you. Bye. So, you want me to help you with your tree or not? You'd do anything for that little guy, wouldn't you? Yeah. All I'm asking for this year is a happy baby boy. Well, then how could you leave him? Why would you say that? What makes you think I'm going anywhere? She asleep? Finally. Did you read her the bunny story? I read her the bunny story three times. Come on, I got something for you. Wow. Well, you earned it. What is this? It's a great Chardonnay. It's really good. Are you trying to get romantic or something? Romantic? That. We invite you to try a very special Chardonnay. It's time for a change to the wines of Ernest and Julio Gallo. Quick, what's the only non-stick cookware that goes from microwave to stovetop to oven and then the table? Easy to see. There's only one vision see-through cookware from Corning. People are excited about new Comet Liquid Gel. Bleach Plus Cleaner. You just point, squeeze on the gel, and wipe up tough stains. New Comet Liquid Gel. When others can't cut it, Comet can.
flowers that seem perfumey and artificial? Then try new Airwick Botanicals. Airwick Botanicals are made with pure botanical extracts, so they're effective and fresh-smelling. Botanicals are one air freshener that really refreshes the air. So wave goodbye to your old air freshener and try new Airwick Botanicals, the refreshing air freshener. My husband, the big football coach. Well, sure he acts tough, but when he got the flu, I knew he felt it just like the rest of us. Body aches, fever, <coughs> coughing. So I made sure that he got new Tylenol flu. Only new Tylenol flu has maximum strength medicines and extra strength Tylenol brand pain reliever to fight even your worst flu symptoms. Tylenol flu really got him back on his feet. Nothing fights the flu like new Tylenol flu. You know, he may be the coach on the field, but at home, I'm the team doctor. TGIF asks, what do you want for the holidays? How about the gift of love? Please take me back, pretty please, mother and cheese. Family matters or the gift of togetherness. The father-son softball game. Can you believe it? I'm not going. May the best excuse win. Boy meets world or the gift of wheels. It's an eyesore. So are you, but we keep you around. Step by step or the gift of knowledge. Could you tell us about the black man's struggle? Yes, I can. Coming to work this morning was a nightmare. Hang with Mr. Cooper. The gift of laughter is TGIF. Why would you think I'm going anywhere? What is it? Oh, you don't mind me. You know how I always start talking mushy as soon as I hear some sleigh bells ringing or, or smell some uh, fresh pine in the house. You're acting even weirder than usual. What's wrong? Well, I mean, did you forget what day it was when you were out there in the woods? It's Christmas time, after all, and... Without kids, I mean, December is just not worth diddly squad, is it? I mean, you might as well just skip the whole month. Well, I sure learned that the hard way a couple years ago. I was standing in the department store, and, and suddenly I just realized that it was going to be the first time that I would not be buying any presents for my, my sweet, precious baby, Sue and, and Jenny. Well, I just broke down right there, started bawling my head Mama, off. Mama, listen, I'm here, I'm back, and I'm quite well aware of, of how important Christmas is. Well, I mean, this is a big year for Jamie, you know. It's the first time he's really gonna understand about who that chubby little guy in the red suit is and where all the presents come from. This is the Christmas he is gonna remember for Mama, years Mama, and listen, listen, years. Hey, Mama, listen. Oh, look, I promise, Brooke and I are gonna do everything we can to make sure that Jamie has a wonderful Christmas. Oh, well... Brooke's already uh, on top of all of that, you know. She's, um, she's uh, raided the toy store. She bought about six rolls of that wrapping paper, you know, the kind with the little uh, elephant on it. That guy that Jamie loves so much, uh, you know, all dressed up in a Santa suit and everything. She's gotten tape for the camcorder. I think about 24 hours or so. We don't miss one single second of Have the whole you been day. Hitting and, the eggnog a little oh, early this goodness. year. What's going on? Let me just ask you a question. Do you love Brooke? Of course I love her. What kind of question is that? Mama, where is Brooke? You're sure that it was Erica? Some wife, huh? Dimitri will make it. Thanks. He will make it. He'll make it because of you. I know how much Dimitri depends on you. It's more the other way around. You're not going to let him down. He knows that. And so do I. And you're going to help him through this, believe me. Thank you. Is he okay? He's in recovery. Say, so, that's good that he's okay? Well, it's touch and go right now, but you can see him for a few minutes. I just sort of stumbled in here by accident, and he seemed to need... I understand. He needed to talk. I understand. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, I know that you've got a lot to deal with it as it is. Give Dimitri my best. I will.
us all worried to death there for a minute, you know that? You look fine. Anything for attention, right? You got Peggy making your favorite meal, you got Lucy waiting on your hand and foot. Hey, listen, remember all those scrapes and bruises that we used to survive when we were the terrors of Wild Wind? You're too stubborn to let this beat you. So you're not going anywhere. And you can't leave me a man the chapter of the adult children of Hugo Merrick all by my lonesome. I gotta, gotta have you. Besides, I'm getting married, man. I need a best man. I love you, bro. to ask him what happened, okay? You mind if I do the asking? Go ahead. Dimitri, listen, you're gonna have to help me here. I'm gonna ask you a question about who did this to you, okay? So you're gonna have to try to remember. Come on, Dimitri, you can do it. Try. Erica. Erica. Erica what? Tried. To kill me. Penny. It takes us all night to complete each Christmas stocking. Because every night, we're restocking each shelf and refilling each case with exciting new gifts. Save on classic white blouses. Stafford Oxford button-downs. And 14 karat gold. The J.C. Penny Holiday Sale. The most elaborate Christmas stocking around. Question is... How can you make all those foods you love in a way you can feel better about? Chef Bert Wolf. Here's one good answer. Crisco oil. You see, when you're cooking with oil, you want to cut back on saturated fat. Compare Crisco to ordinary vegetable oils. Crisco has less saturated fat, 25% less. Crisco looks light. And there's no heavy oily taste. Mmm. When you make what you love, make it smarter. Make it with Crisco. Cooks who know, trust Crisco. <laughs> Burning my beaks all stuffed up. I feel nice and clear. All stuffed up. Mel, try nice and clear. New sugar-free nice and clear cools your throat and has 40% more icy medicine to make your nose feel clear. Ah, uh, now I feel nice and clear like you. They say we look alike, too. Want the inside story on me, George Brett? With minor arthritis pain like mine, I need Ultra Strength Bengay. It's the only one with three pain relievers. And besides, doctors recommend Bengay the most. Ultra Strength Bengay, nothing stronger. <laughs> my kids are really going places. I know, because I drive them everywhere. So why get a regular... I can't take a harsh chemical accident and then get in the van and drive 10 miles to soccer practice. So, at the first sign of a problem, it's Metamucil Natural Fiber Therapy. It works with my body's natural rhythms to get me back on track in a more natural way. Ready, Mom? Okay, we're on the road again. With Metamucil, the natural choice for regularity. You go in for back surgery. It's supposed to make you feel better. And then they put these screws into you and you feel worse. I'm a nothing now. I hurt too much. Could this happen to you? Plus, if you've had enough of this, then come away to a modern-day Shangri-La. It's the best-run city in the world, and I'll take you there. 2020 tonight. It's the best bargain in the sky, but it comes with a price you may not want to pay. Plus, a peek into the Hard Rock Cafe Empire on Good Morning America Sunday. This time, you are wrong. You are not going to hurt Tad. He can handle Brooke, whether she knows everything or not. Don't ever underestimate Brooke. 
It's actually better this way. It'll be it'll be cleaner, less painful. She'll have time to sort of sort things out. Maybe she'll have actually made a plan. As yet, you haven't mentioned one other possible outcome. I think you better think about it for your own good. And what, pray tell, possible outcome is that? The one where Brooke, forearmed with the knowledge of your affair, decides that she wants him back. Suppose she decides to fight for him. What happens then? That's crazy. Brooke wouldn't want him after this. There's no reason why she would. Well, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just going on and on about kids because uh, I don't want you to be mad at Brooke. Why would I be mad at her? Well, I, I just hope that you'll understand why she did what she did. Mama, so help me. If you don't spit it out, I'm going to wrap that tree around your neck. Now, what is going on, and where is my wife? She's at the hospital. Why didn't you say so when I walked in? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with Brooke? I mean, is, 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 is there something wrong? Is she sick? Well, pregnancy isn't a sickness. It's a condition. Did, did you just say what I think you said? Well, at this very moment, uh, your wife is at the hospital finding out if you and she are uh, once again in the family way. So, what's the verdict? Am I pregnant? There is a guard outside my door. The police are coming to get me, listen, aren't they, Jack? Listen, you just concentrate. I'm feeling better, okay? When is this going to be over? Well, we've asked Dr. Gould to come over to talk to you just to help you through this. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out what exactly happened that led up to all this, okay? And that's where you come in. That's right. Look, we're hoping you can give us the details of what happened last night. Do you remember what happened last night? Do I have to do this now? It's very difficult to talk about. We all understand that. But once everyone knows everything that happened, they will understand why I had to do what I did. And it would help Erica tremendously. I'm sure you want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Start at the beginning. Oh, wait, 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 Derek, get out of here. Okay. Get out of here. You said you'd wait. Yeah, well, the waiting is over. We have a job to do. Jack, can't you get them out of here? Derek, can you give us a break here, please? I am sorry, Jack. Erica Kane, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Dimitri Merrick. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, anything you say... No, can... no, 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 no. 